Hey guys, what's up? I am Splash and Splash Videos. Today we're having a tutorial on how to make custom YouTube channel art. So what you want to do is go to getpaint.net, click on download. Link will be in the description. Um, so once you're there, just press on the 3.5.11, hit download now, then press on this. Then just save it and run the zip file. And all that good stuff. Once you've done that, um, we want to do search in YouTube channel art template on Google, as you can see here. And go over to search tools, size, mine just says that. Hit exactly and type in these dimensions. Hit go. They'll have a wide variety. I like this one. This one's my favorite. And then just download the image. And yeah, once you're done with that, um, open up paint.net, uh, one second, and I've already done it, just go to file, open, and open this, and you'll have this exact screen, um, what you want to do that now is add a new layer, always add a new layer, and I'm just going to put in a nice gradient, you can put it in a background you find online or whatever. Uh, if if you're ever importing a picture, uh, I'll show you that in a minute. Um, so what we gonna do is make our gradient like that, and that's a good gradient. So what we want to do next? Make a new layer. Go down and go down to cooltext.com. I'll have a link in the description. I'm just gonna pick one here. You can pick any that you want. Um, what I wanted to say is, splash videos, and that looks nice, so I like the colors, and so yeah, once we're done, you can change all the colors of like the glow and the font and stuff like that. And so, yeah, just hit create logo. Uh, download image. Save. I'm just going to save it to my downloads. Um, now what you want to do is once you, you made your new layer, so just, you actually don't need that. Um, what you want to do is get the image. Let's go to my downloads. Get the image and just drag it onto here. When this comes up, hit add layer. And once you got that, just drag it and you can make it as big as you want. I just tick tick this out for now so you can tell where you're putting it. So that looks pretty cool actually. Um now once you got that, you can add any other um pictures you want. I'm going to add some Black Ops 2 pictures. And that will probably be the end of it. Add layer. Jesus, that's huge. Um, so, that's just, that's good. I can just, if I want, I can just copy that. And then just paste it. Don't have another one to put on the other side. And that's about it. So now we just gotta just untick that if we want. Tick that back on. And that's about the end of it. Um what you guys wanna do if you want, it doesn't you don't need to, but you can put because I'll show you the dimensions of this. Um, this, the red part is viewable on the devices, including the smartphone and everything like that. The purple is viewable on tablets, and the green is viewable on computers, and then the yellow is viewable on, um, on a TV. So, this is going to be, like, your main area, which that's why I put it there. And then, um, you want just... Say I wanted to put like um I don't know, maybe like 
a GTA 5 logo or something. Doesn't have to be transparent for this. It's just um good. Five logo. Say I want this. It's easier if the image doesn't have a background, by the way. Sorry. Um. So it's just easier to put in. I just save it to my desktop. And um, let's drag it on here. Add layer. And just put it like up there or something and then that'll be the end of it so that's pretty well it um like if this helped you and subscribe for more tutorials and epic gaming videos daily i am splash videos and i'll see you guys in the next video see y'all later